This Albion Online video is all about the price breakdown of the Mastery Packs. What the hell is a Mastery Pack? What is going on? Albion Online is more pay to win than ever, and this does not apply to Europe, so if you only play on Europe, you can close the video and go watch something else. This only applies to Asia and the Western players. Oh, you know, only they get to buy this for some reason. Anyway, the, these are the Mastery Packs. This is what it looks like, and uh, I don't have it on screen. There it is. And uh, so... <laughs> You know, in 12 days, oh boy, you could start buying the Warden Mastery Packs. Beginning October 28th, 12 UTC, we have the Legendary Pack. It comes with learning points. They're selling learning points now, guys. And, of course, a bunch of tradable skins, which um, you're probably going to make your money back on, maybe. I don't know. But uh, I'm mostly going to be debunking, not really debunking, but I'm going to be... Doing the math on just how much these learning points are worth, the gold and the premium, uh, because they want $200! 200 US dollars, that's, um, that's a lot of money, that's, that's food for a month and a half for me, that's, that's 90 days, no, 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 that's, um, 45 days of food for me, <laughs> right? It's pretty crazy, but we're gonna break it down, we're gonna see what's worth it and what's not. Alright, so first up is the Novice Pack. I've done the math. We get 1,500 learning points, 150 gold, 7 days premium. And a Bat Pack that we can sell to other players. This is probably, I'm going to just assume 3 million silver, alright? But let's, uh, you know, I've looked at the shop, I've done the math, here's the numbers. So, starting out, the Novice Pack is 20 bucks. You get a week of premium, which is worth $5 in the cash shop. Then you get 150 gold. This is worth, currently on West, 1.08 million silver. This takes about one hour of gathering in a, in a blue zone to get, so that's one hour of your time. If you were to buy the gold, if you buy it from the cash shop at the lowest conversion rate of buying the cheapest, you know, gold bundle, it's worth 94 cents. If you buy it at the highest gold bundle, the $100 bundle, it's 78 cents. Now, if you RMT from a third-party website and, and you want to get banned, don't ever do this. Don't ever RMT in this damn game. It's 50 cents. Now, 1,500 learning points will take you 50 days with premium to get because you get 30 per day. Or 150 days without premium because you only get 10 per day. Um, now, I can do the daily, which is the daily bonus here. Let me show you. When you do the daily bonus, you get your 10 learning points, right? I can do this in one minute. It takes me one minute to clear this. And so, that means it takes um, 50 minutes to 150 minutes worth of play time to acquire those learning points over a long period of time. And then finally, we have the backpack skin. That's 3 million silver. Assuming. I don't know. It could be more. It might be less. We don't know. Now, the money value from premium is only $6. You're only getting $6 back when you spend 20 However, you are saving yourself 5 to 7 hours of time. All right? And that 5 to 7 hours might be worth 20 bucks for you. I don't know. It's not for me. But the break-even is if you make $2.85 US dollars an hour in real life. This is... How much a waiter makes in my area, I don't know about your area, but waiters, this is their average wage. Uh, to $4 an hour, which is about something that a construction worker would make, or um, so, like a higher up at McDonald's in my area would make. Um, so yeah, I know if you, you probably live in like some fancy part of America, you're making 15 bucks an hour minimum or something, but I don't get to live your luxurious, super easy life. And now we have the Veteran Pack. So the Veteran Pack is 50 bucks. You get 30 days of premium. This is worth 15. 500 gold. This is about 3.6 million silver or 3.6 hours worth. Uh, $3.16 at the conversion rate. You know, blah, blah, blah. If you aren't yet. 3,000 learning points is 100 days with premium or 300 without premium. It takes one minute to do the daily, blah, blah, blah. The backpack skin, the horse skin is probably going to be about 10 million because it's a mount skin. They're, they're generally 10 to 20 million each. Uh, now, the money value from premium uh, and gold is $18, but you're paying $50. The time value is 13 to 17 hours. Now, if we convert everything to silver, that includes the, um, the premium. This, I didn't do this in the previous calculation, but if we, if we calculate all the silver it costs for the premium and stuff and the skins, you're basically buying silver at $1.12 per $1 million. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And, and to show you just how bad of a deal this is, all right, so currently, uh, gold for silver, 7.232, uh, you know, if I, if, if, hold on, let, let me just show you what I'm doing here. If you go to the cash shop, and you want to buy gold, and you buy 19,000 gold, 
for 100 bucks. Here's the math on that. It's actually a better deal to just do that than to buy the damn bundle, right? So you're going to buy 19,000 gold for $100. That is 1.3 million silver per dollar. So why would you buy the pack for 1.12 you know, million silver per dollar? Unless you just want the learning points. That's the, on that's the only reason you would take the loss of silver per dollar you know, conversion rate for what? You know, 100, 300 minutes worth of uh, you know, playing the game for your learning points? I mean, a lot of us just stock up learning points over time. My character has 1,120 learning points. You know where I'm going to dump those at some point? Probably into, um, I don't know, not refining, of course. Don't ever f do it on refining. That's a scam. A lot of things that you put learning points into are scams. Never put it in armor, or weapons, or equipment. You should only ever use it for crafting pieces, but I'll probably end up putting mine into the, not, not crafting tracking toolkits. No, no, no. Uh, where, there it is. Yeah, the, the tracking. So, right now, if I want to level up tracking, it costs me one learning point. Oh, boy. And you may be wondering, well, how many learning points does it take to max this out? And here we are at AlbionOnline2D.com. You go to Tools. You go to Destiny Calculator. You can see here to go from level 6 to 100 on Season Tracker. It's only 294 learning points. Uh, so that's, again, that's one month or 30 days without premium or 10 days with premium. And I'm not going to level this all up in a single sitting in a single day. So I can, you know, chip away at this, you know, day after day. I have plenty of learning points to max this out. But now when you get to specializi specialization, like if I want to be a spirit bear tracker master, then yeah, the learning points are, again, it's only like 300. Now, again, crafting is where it's at, but I'm just going to show you anyway. Let's say you wanted to max out, you know, um, your arcanist, right? Your great arcane stat. Well, let's do arcanist first, right? With learning points, it's a complete waste. Hello? Um, yeah, 2,273 like, from level 0. 2,228, right? And then if you wanted to be a great arcane combat specialist, you know, that's going to take you 2,600. Which, again, you should never, ever, ever use these on combats. It's a complete waste of points. Now, let's say you want to be a crafter, right? And uh, not a refiner, but let's let's do Warrior's Forge Crafter. And let's say you want to be a uh, and a great axe crafting specialist. Th this is where your learning points should go, right here. Not, not not into axes, but into like a weapon of your or an armor of your choice, right? So to max out great axe crafting, it's going to take three thousand fifty one learning points, and that there is a hundred days with premium or three hundred days or about a year without premium. So that would be the value of learning points. So to me, because 99% of Albion's population, we don't give a damn about weapon and armor crafting, and the reason we don't is because it's not good money, it's way too cumbersome, it's way too risky, it's way too much of an investment, you're, you're fighting against cartels and whales that have black zone hideouts that get crafting bonuses, and if you don't have those crafting bonuses, you really can't compete. Like, I started the game as a bow crafter, I was a lumberjack bow crafter, and I was gonna be the best war bow crafter in the game. But, you know, I learned that to be the best war bow crafter, I have to max out all of the other bows too. But at the same time, I need to have a hideout with a, you know, bonus to war bow crafting. And I'm never going to have that because I'm not in a guild and I'm not going to manage a guild and I'm not going to, you know, have a, a hideout where the cartels are going to blow up the hideout if I don't pay the taxes. It's not worth it. Then you have to feed the stations. There's so much spreadsheeting and money and, and trouble. Your average player, your average solo player should never, ever, ever touch weapon crafting or gear crafting at all. I think I've made several members videos about this, and even regular videos telling you not to do it. I tell everyone, go chef, go cooking, or if you can afford it in card swipe, go potion crafting if you want. But, like, when you level up cooking and stuff, you don't get learning points to pump this up. There is no learning points. Uh, so, yeah, there, learning points are essentially useless for the majority of smart players who are trying to level up their skills. And you are be like, but Solo Benji, what about refining? Refining, the way to level up refining is not with learning points. It would be absolutely stupid to use learning points on this. All right, and the reason, well, this is Gathering Tree. Yeah, isn't it? No? No? Now, this is Refiner. The way you max out your refining is you find a good deal, so when you do refine, you make profit. So you're refining for free. That's how you level that up. The, the last thing I could only assume that you would dump learning points into is your uh, gathering masteries, which is pretty useless. 
like let's say you're out out gathering you know like uh some some kind of resource right maxing out your gathering besides maybe fishing just so you can wear the tier eight not not worth it um yes you should you should use learning points to unlock tier eight absolutely use it to unlock tier eight but don't use it to pump up these to 100 because even at a high level it doesn't give much of a bonus let's look at my highest one here i'm like skinning at 83 uh, 0 0.2 bonus to item power for Skinner gear. That just makes your hide poison hit harder. All right. The, uh, you have the 0 0.5 bonus to your yield, right? So at 100, that would be, uh, what, two digits over. So five and then 50. 50% 50 gathering yield only on that tier of hide. So if I'm a tier four hide gatherer and this is 100, which it's not, but if it was, then um, that would be, you know, 50% bonus to gathering yield. But I already have over 100% with my gear. And the way the game works is it's like a dice roll. It's not a guaranteed flat, like, amount that you always get. So since I have over 100%, it rolls the dice. I essentially get double every time. Whereas if I had 50% more, I might get, like, 1.25 to 1.5% more. Or, I'm sorry... Uh, 1.25 to 1.5 bonus, essentially. It's it's weird and wonky how it works. And yes, there is the uh, gathering speed. If you want to test gathering speed, up on the test server and uh, find a cheat stone that maxes out your skills. And you'll see the speed is not noticeable. It's just, it's not noticeable. It is if you're competing against another player and you're both gathering a node. But it's not noticeable in any other regard. So to me, these, uh, these warden packs are scams because... Why not just spend your real money on, on silver, on gold? Because that's the better conversion rate. And let's say you bought the 19,000 gold bundle for 100 bucks. Well, you get it's worth 1.3 million silver per dollar. And then you could use that silver to buy premium and you're saving money that way. So, again, the only reason to buy these stupid bundles is for the skins. In the hopes that they're worth more than they probably are. Probably not. Um, that, and to, uh, to get the learning points, which you don't even need anyway, unless you're, like, some cartel crafter. These, this is, these are bundles for whales. These are bundles for cartel crafters, not for the average player. Now we have the epic pack, which is, funny enough, the exact same value, but I'm just gonna go over it anyway. You get 60 days premium, 1,000 gold this time, uh, 6,000 learning points this time. Uh, so, again, you're, you're buying the exact same thing as the veteran pack, and, um... It's the same exact value, dollar and twelve per per one mil silver. Like you're not getting a good deal. And then finally, the legendary pack. Here is the math. On that. This is two hundred U.S. dollars. Now you only get ninety days premium, two thousand gold. Not a lot. Um, you get fifteen thousand learning points though. So if you're straight up buying learning points, it is the better deal because if you spend a hundred dollars, you only get six thousand. But if you spend that extra hundred, not only do you get more than 12,000, you get 15,000. So that is a 50% bonus from this. And, and again, this is the only value these things are giving. Let me show you the rest of the math here. So um, I kind of start, you know, scuffing the hours a bit here. Now here's the backpack skin, the horse skin, the road wardrobe set. You have a legendary steed. This will maybe be 20 million or this could possibly be worth 100 million. I don't know, but I'm going to lowball it at 20 million. Then we have the legendary wardrobe set. I think these sets look ugly. I think these mounts look ugly as hell. Uh, so I'm lowballing them at 20 million, but again, they could be worth more. Could be maybe 40 million. Could be 100 million. I don't know. If they're worth more than listed, then it's a good deal to buy. But most likely not. Now, the money value from premium and gold is $42. I might be wrong on that one, actually. I think that calculation's off. But I'm going to punish people that don't know English, I guess, or have me on mute or fast forwarded through the video. Uh, the time value is over 48 hours. I, I got sick of calculating how much time you would save with this. But it's at minimum 48 hours of time saved. And uh, again, t if you look at the uh, <laughs> the learning points, it would take you, uh, you know, 15,000 learning points is 500 days with premium or 1,500 days without. That's years. That's years of real life time passing by. All right, now this one, this is valued at $1.29 per 1 million silver in value, assuming that the mounts are low balled and you're selling them. Whereas, again, buying 19,000 gold is worth 1.37 million silver. So if the mounts are worth more than 20 million, if the skins are worth more than 20 million, then it is technically the better deal to buy this and sell the skins for silver. And you get the learning points as a nice bonus. 
Honestly, if I was rich, I wouldn't buy this anyway because I don't give a damn about learning points. And I don't think most people do. But I just wanted to break down the prices for you guys so that you can be an informed shopper and make a good decision on if you should buy this or not. And um, there you go. That's the video. Let me know what you think. I think these things are overpriced as hell and still fronts stock is still falling, 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 and they are desperate for that money. So again, that's why they're doing it. It's kind of it's kind of crappy that they're not doing it for Europe. I guess they're like, oh, the the server's too new. It would be you know it would cheapen the experience or something like. Bro, it, it, like, why are people playing on Europe if, if we're getting all the deals on Asia and the Western server, huh? I don't know, but it's still stupid that they split the servers anyway. With that said, uh, that's the video. Just want to give you guys a heads up about the value of the deals. And I think it's absolutely dumb that they're selling learning points. If you look at the comment section of the video, l let me show you before they prune it, of course. Because you know they're going to delete these. The beginning of the end. Next update, legendary pack, 1 billion fame, 300 US dollars, good game, well played, rest in peace. Selling IP is crazy, it just makes them look as if they're trying to squeeze uh, out a bit of milk from a dead cow. This is a bad idea, not going to lie. Industry pay to win becomes real pay to win. Selling learning points is bullcrap. You used to need 200 days of premium to have 6,000 learning points, and now you can just buy it in the pack. Now I finally see where the game is going. Uh, learning points are the only thing limiting a character from pro progressing too fast and stomping on everyone else. Now learning points are becoming viable. What the F? Right? Thousands of learning points on store now? What a joke. Even more pay-to-win trash game. Bruh, don't turn into another cash grab game. Their target now are the cash cows and cash cows only. Um, <laughs> I did the math. It's actually better by 16% to buy gold and use Tome of Insight to level up your weapons. <laughs> Selling 15,000 learning points in Asian server is okay, but server transfer is way too early to talk about. Ha ha ha. Uh, 15,000 learning points is 500 days with premium, or about 16 months. SBI, you said there would be no thought of server transfer until at least 18 months because learning points. It's been 19 months since Asia launched. You're selling that much in learning points. You have run out of excuses to avoid the community's request to server transfers. Make it happen. I will even pay for it. No, don't tell them that. Shut up. Delete your... Don't don't tell them you'll, you'll pay for server transfers. Not cool getting that much skill points for paying. At this point, sell the fame already, Lamau. Skins are not bad, but packs are not worth that to get only for the skin. I'm disappointed selling LP, WTF. That's a no-go, mate, please. Right? You can slowly killing the game. Every single comment. Every single one hates this. They hate it. But, you know, Stillfront wants their money. And uh, I'm making this video because I'm on your side. I think it's bullcrap too. I think it's stupid. And part of my video, part of the reason I'm making this video is to show you it's a bad deal. If you're going to give SBI money, just buy gold. Just freaking buy gold if you have to. I, I don't give them any money because they hate me. I'm perma-muted. They don't treat me right. They don't treat me as their top creator at all. They, they, they hate me. They scorn me. It's literally just a Kickstarter, you know, uh, Unity-made game that doesn't deserve the player base that it ended up getting, and the people that actually play the game, they abuse. Like, I, I don't have, I'm not friends with other content creators, but I have seen screenshots of how bad they are treated by SBI in their little private community creator Discord. It, it's sickening, it's gross. I've got screenshots on my Discord. I, I'm not going to show them on YouTube, though. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty nutty just how bad SBI doesn't give a damn about them. And it shows, and it, and if they would go and play other games, their 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 entire Twitch scene would die. And they keep doing stupid crap, like having to pay other creators to play their game for a few weeks in hopes that they get hooked on the game. Now I'm not gonna waste your time showing every single one, but I'll just talk about one in particular. There was a guy named Coupins. You know, he's got 200k subs on YouTube. He gets about 370 thousand monthly views which is less than like <laughs> Igor Coco and way less than me so like what like he, he he has one referral link in one of his videos 11 months ago uh for a, you know a referral link to, to play Albion online they paid this guy thousands of dollars they had Nazori dog walk him around the game and uh they actually flagged up on me in a yellow zone and I beat them up in my 8-4 and got banned for two weeks for it because I was harassing them no i wasn't i was in a dungeon that they were in and they flagged up on me i gave them a three minute sit down timer with some other people that were also in the dungeon and uh and then i got banned for it excuse me i'm still mad i'm still mad but um essentially they paid this guy thousands of dollars and got nothing out of it and then you have a, a few other youtubers uh, there, there's some that clearly buy views and i'm not talking about 
Um, you know, the one that rhymes with a prison, you know, an American prison. I'm talking about the one that um, he's like, 100 days in X game. And he, that's, all, that's the only video he makes. And that's 100% botted. It's 100% botted views. But um, essentially, yeah, they paid him probably, t what, 10 grand to play it? I know Asmongold's price is 10 grand. Why isn't he playing this? Probably because he knows better. He knows not to mess with the cartels. He knows not to get in their business or anything. But yeah, he is, Asmin is kind of tent banned right now for a uh, wrong thing, I guess. But the point, the point is, is that SBI is throwing money in the wrong directions. Instead of supporting the people that have been playing their game for, like, years, you know, like, a lot of content creators have been... They play this game for like over four years. They've dedicated four years of their life to this game. I've got over 800 videos, huh? Why are they paying some dude weed guy to, to like play the game thousands of dollars when they can just be like, hey, Soul Benji, can you promote something for us? We'll give you a premium for a month. I'm like, hell yeah, dude, let's go, right? But they won't because uh, Robin Henke's is super leftist and anti-freedom of speech. And, you know, I'm, I, I'm pro-freedom of speech. And that's basically all there is to it. It's all politics. Politics ruined Albion, and uh, still front ruined Albion, and Albion is not ever recovering. The new update's gonna suck, we already know that. It's nerfing solo players, and they'll smile in front of the damn camera, cracking his knuckles, and being like, this update is for solo players. I don't know why I did that accent, but you get the... It, what, what is going on? Why why haven't I just left for Throne and Liberty yet? I don't know. Right now I'm playing Deadlock. Hey, remember Big Lips McGee? He's playing Deadlock too. Go check out his crap. I, I'm not his friend or anything. I don't think he likes me, but it's still better than Albi and stuff. Anyway, that's all I've got. Don't buy the bundles unless you really want the learning points, I guess. It's not worth it uh, when converting to silver. Just buy the silver and then buy premium that way. And the skins, like, again, the skins aren't probably going to be worth it. And uh, they might, but probably not. Anyway, that's all I got. Mwah. See you later. Click the video on the right side of your screen. If you don't, you're going to stub your toe. It's going to hurt for, like, two hours.